that was amazing i hope you love the intro it took me so much time you know from last one month i have been to so many different locations to see how good this performs and finally i can say that i'm not going anywhere without this dj avada and today i'm going to share my experience flying this so let's start from the beginning the day i received this dj avada i am really excited to just pick up the parcel I'll show you once I'm home. Once I got DJ Avada, the next thing obviously was to unbox it. So let's do that very quickly. Oh, it has another box. So let me do it one more time. Let's do that. Okay, this is what we have. DJI Avada. And let me quickly unbox this as well. It's a Cinebook from DJI. This is the first time that they have launched this kind of a new product and that's why i'm really excited but it looks so tiny see <laughs> this is what we have got and there is one battery attached that comes along with this or oh, the battery is so lightweight and we also get two extra propellers and we have also one charger guys i can't believe we have got this charger usb c type so we can plug in c type cable and charge the batteries and when i used to fly those homemade fpv the charger was so big and now I think I'm really happy I don't... This is best for the travel, I guess. So this is the goggle. We have got one battery for the goggle as well. And this is the motion controller. Now let's look at the last unit, which is the extra batteries. So this is the charger. So you can charge four batteries at the same time. And again, this is extra two batteries in the fly mode kit. And now I'm going to quickly set it up and yeah, I'll go out. <laughs> I said DJ Avara, I thought let's go out and fly in the neighborhood. So I started flying in the normal mode just to see how it flies very slow, you know, very close to the ground, just taking slow moves. And then once I was confident, I know that it can fly really good. I just, I just switched to manual mode and took some timing shots. So I really liked DJ Avada flying on the very first day, took some amazing shots. So next day I decided let's go out somewhere, do a little bit of hiking and see how I'm easily able to carry this in my camera bag because this is really important. Till this point, I'm not carrying any FPV on any of my travel trip because it is too difficult to keep it in my one camera bag and I don't wanna carry another extra bag just for the FPV. So this was really small. So I thought, okay, let's see if I'm able to carry in my camera bag. I can easily fit this in my camera bag. I mean, this is the first FPV I can easily fly. Look at the goggle size, it's so small and I can easily fit in. Now I'm just going to take a few shots here. Let's see, let's fly that FPV. Okay, let's go. that this is definitely going in my camera bag. So let's talk about the specifications. So it can shoot in 4K 60 FPS and 2.7K 100 FPS. And it has a 48 megapixel camera with sensor size of 1 by 1.7. It also has internal storage of 20 GB. So that's a plus point. Even if you forget the memory card, you will still be able to record it. One thing I really like about DJ Avata is you can change the diopter. So I have like spectacles and if I'm not using my specs, then I can just change the diopter. So from zero to minus eight, you can change it. So that's really helpful. I don't need to wear lenses when I'm flying 
FPV. Okay, now I want to share my story of how I actually started flying FPV, how I got into this FPV world. So it was back in 2020, and for the first two months, I was just practicing using a remote controller on the computer. I, I didn't go out and start flying FPV. You can't do that. If you want to fly in the manual mode, like you're in the full control, it's not like commercial drone that you can start flying in the manual mode. You have to practice a lot in the computer first with the remote controller and once you're comfortable you will have less more chance of crashing the drone and back then it was too difficult with the custom made fpv because you can't fly in the normal or the sports mode there's no normal mode you have to fly in the manual mode only but now with the dj avata there are three modes normal sports and once you feel comfortable you can start flying in the manual mode now for all the people who want to get into this fpv world dj has made it even easier to start Start flying with the motion controller now so don't need to practice straight away on the remote controller which is a little bit difficult so with motion controller it's way easier to start flying in the normal or the manual mode and you can get the feel of flying FPV to so see my experience of flying first time with the motion controller so the DJ water comes with the motion controller and I am going to fly with this and see how it actually flies but you can fly only in the normal in the sports mode not in the manual mode but let's see how it goes like this is the first time I'm doing it so I'm a little nervous. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, now I'm going to fly, guys. You double press the lock button. On, right? Now, motor starting. Press and hold the lock button to button to take off. Okay. Wow! Oh, you can do left and right. See? Oh! Nice! Oh, wow! Oh, see? If I press this, it, it go, it's going in the forward direction and then I can do this. It's going left, right, Top, down, okay. So basically, with this you can change the angle. Okay, camera is going up and down, and then with this. Okay, that's how it'll go up. Okay. Right. Now I'm going towards. Okay. Nice. It's, oh, it will go up like this. Okay, wow. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, this is really amazing. It's a different kind of experience. I'm just flying in the normal mode right now because it's my first flight. Oh wow! Maybe it will go up like this. Oh, oh, nice. So basically, where am I am pointing? It's flying in that direction only. Like, oh, I'm just flying, going very close to the subject. Let me, oh, it's pitch break. Oh, it breaks. When I stop, it, it's gonna break. And let's go this direction. Oh, so you have to go like this. You have to do like this, it'll go in up direction. Oh, okay. I can fly it back. Oh nice, if you want to fly in. Man, this is really amazing. It's like I'm playing a game or something like that. <laughs> oh man, wow, this is different actually. I'm loving it. 
with the motion controller now let me tell you when you're a beginner and you start flying in the manual mode for the first time then you might crash because there are no sensors nothing you are in the full control of the drone so you might crash and that's where these propeller guards will be really helpful so dj avata is a cinemoop style fpv and it comes with these propeller guards so you can fly really close to the subject through tight spaces even if it hits something still it won't crash because of these propeller guards so that's why i like flying this one more than normal 5 inch fpv without any propeller guards Okay, now we know that we can fly really slow with the DJI Avata and take cinematic shots. But I really wanted to test how fast we can go with this FPV. So I made a plan to visit a couple of waterfalls nearby Pune because this is the best time. So I went to Kumbh Waterfall and Kalu Waterfall. But before that, I went to Value Flowers. Now we're going to fly Avata in this beautiful field. A lot of flowers there. So let me show you the view. Guys, we got amazing shots. I just tried uh, ultra wide, wide, and the linear mode. So there are three modes in DJI Avara: normal, wide, and ultra view. I really like flying in the ultra view, and I think in my experience, we get the best footage if we keep in the ultra view mode. And there are two type of stabilization in DJI Avara: with rock steady and horizontal steady. With rock steady, it will not stabilize your these kind of movements you can still do these kind of rotations with horizontal steady it will also stabilize your tilt motion in my experience just set it to rock steady and you'll be good to go and also you can just turn off the stabilization because now dji provides zero data with the video files so you can stabilize in the post as well and it will give you really good footage so it's up to you whatever you want but if you talk about me i still like to fly in the rock steady because with that you don't need the extra step of stabilization in the post and it's still good Ice field, and we took some amazing shots with our water. So we have stopped here for some time. It's a beautiful road, so thought let's fly this DJ Avata here and let's take some car shots. <laughs> really having good time flying this FPV. So we'll go to another destination right now. We'll go to some waterfall location and try to, you know, uh, dive from there.
असली व्यू है वो सामने से आप इन्जॉय करते हो वो सामने वाले व्यू पॉइंट पर जाते हो तो यहाँ से भी पीछे हमारे रास्ते से विल गो वे अप टू दैट साइड और वहाँ से फिर वॉटरफॉल देखेंगे बट यहाँ से लेकिन आई थिंक वी कैन टेक फ्यू शॉर्ट्स सो गाइज वी हैव मेड इट टू दिस वाटरफॉल प्लेस विच इज़ कॉल कुंभे वाटरफॉल एंड शॉर्ट्स हवादा फ्यू डाइविंग शॉर्ट्स Uh, it's getting really foggy. I need to take the shots very quickly. Otherwise, it's gonna get dark. So let's fly. I just took one flight and look at the weather. It's foggy. It happens every day. Let's go to some other location because it's very foggy right now. Let's go. So I was so excited to go to this last location which will be the most beautiful one, but it was not easy to reach there. It was so rainy that day. Still I was hopeful that the weather is going to get clear. So we started trekking through a deep jungle route and reaching there was actually difficult. You know one has to even cross the river. But we finally made it to that place. It's Kalu Waterfall and I'll talk about that in some other video. We came all the way from Pune to get to see this amazing waterfall view. I can see two waterfalls in front of me and I'm going to take the shot with Awada. Luckily it stopped raining and I can see the clear view. I'm so excited. I think the view is going to be really really amazing. Let's take the shot. 1 1 2 3. Oh Okay I'm sure you want to ask this question what are the camera settings that you use on DJ Avara Let me tell you I fly in the Rocksteady with ultra view with 4K 60 fps with cine like mode and in the 16 by 9 ratio with the full manual mode like keeping your ISO constant keeping your temperature at 5000 and also keeping the exposure at plus 1 so nothing will change when you start flying you know when you taking turns if you keep auto white balance or if you keep auto exposure then it will not look professional so i would suggest that you set all the settings to manual so in the end i want to conclude the video with saying if you are a beginner and you want to start your journey with the fpv then i would say that avada is a really good option because it's very easy to set up and it's very safe to fly avara with these propeller guards and with return to home option and plus it provides way more immersive experience than any other drone and ultimately these are all the things that matters the most so that's all the things i wanted to cover in this video if i miss anything then do let me know in the comments below we can start a conversation and you can ask me any question i would be happy to reply to you guys and connect to those people who want to start their journey with the fpv so with that said if you really like this video then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future videos it almost took a month to make this video happen so please don't leave without hitting the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon as well and that is really important so that for all the future videos you will be notified and yeah with that said i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye dhanyawad